welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another mukbang musing. This is the fifth one I think I've done in this series now and it's been a long time since I've had some noodles. So today I have some very, very special noodles. I put on my Instagram recently about whether or not to film a mukbang on the new, they're not so new anymore, but the spicy carbonara noodles and this is the cheesy version of the very, very spicy chicken flavoured one that I had a few months ago with Joe and Ellie, my favourite jellies. Um, so I saw this one doing the rounds and I have been craving carbonara for so long, so I really was intrigued to see what the carbonara version of a spicy ramen looked like. So voila, here we are. I found this in a supermarket in Hong Kong for 38 Hong Kong dollars for five. This is the packaging um, and I've made it today. So. I think normally you make it without so much soup, but you know me, I love me a noodle soup. So today I made it like a noodle soup. And next time maybe if you want, I can film another one. But this is what the noodles look like. Eee! Yeah, these are thick, thick noodles compared to normally like quite thin ones. These are thick and they look springy, they look bouncy. You can see it glistening with the hot, spicy bath that it's been bathed in. Um, and you can see all the trickles and the bright red, spicy uh, broth over it. So if I lift it up for you to see, can you see this? Look at this volcanic, uh, I speak of volcanoes actually, volcanic bath that it's in. It looks very, very spicy, but I can also smell the cheesy flavors when I was pouring it in earlier you put in this kind of powder, which I'm guessing is like the cheese extract. And also I thought I would talk about another little travel series I'm gonna be doing in the next two weeks because I'm gonna be leaving Hong Kong for a week to travel to somewhere exciting. But before we get into that part, let's give this a go. Actually, I don't know whether wearing this is gonna be a good idea today. Right, here we go. It's very, very hot. And apparently eating hot things is meant to make you feel cool down. I don't know if that's true, but here we go. Mm. That is good. That is good. Wait a second. Do you know why I love noodle soup? Because I love drinking the soup like this, even though it's probably full of bad stuff. All right, okay. First off the bat, you can taste the cheese. You can definitely taste the cheesy flavors and it doesn't taste strictly like carbonara because you have this kind of hot and spicy, almost tomato-like creamy soup base. The soup base is creamy because it can taste the cheese in it. Um, it tastes like a lasagna, but in ramen form. But imagine the flavors of a lasagna when you've got the cheese and the tomato sauce mixed in. I think it's called a Mariana sauce. Um, but instead of the sheets, you get these thick, doughy, springy noodles that's absorbed a little bit of the soup, but it's not too soggy because you know I don't like soggy noodles. So I haven't cooked it for too long just so it retains its kind of like hard and firmness. Um, love me some firm noodles. Uh, so yeah, very, very good. It's not absorbed all of the flavor. It's not overly spicy, it's a little bit of a kick. So if you didn't want to do as crazy of a challenge of the spicy chicken ramen noodles, and I think this is a good in-between. It's very, very mild. You can feel a little bit of a kick, kind of sizzling on the tongue, but it's completely, completely bearable. I think even like beginners will be able to actually know. Maybe like beginners and moderate people will be able to manage this. But obviously if you do it like a soup noodle, then the flavors aren't going to be as strong. So if you want something with a bit more of a kick, maybe less water or completely pour out all the water in the soup and just have all the flavor over the cooked noodles, then I think that's gonna be a bit way more of a kick. But I love a soup noodle. It's like drinking cheesy tomato spicy soup. So bad, but so good. Okay, I'm gonna try another bite. Look how thick and springy these are. Hmm? It's really satisfying to eat because it's so springy and it's so much of it. There's like an abundance of noodles in your mouth and you can barely have a mouthful, but look. So, so tasty. It's like such an addictive texture. Mm. 
anyway, let's talk travel plans now. So I've been in Hong Kong for two weeks now, two weeks yesterday, and in a weird way, it feels like I've been here for so much longer. Like, it feels like I've been here for months and months, and I feel very cut off from London, even though I'm still posting, I'm still chatting to everyone every day via WhatsApp and stuff like that, but it feels like I've, I've been in a completely different place. And I, for the most part, I've really enjoyed it because I think it's been such a good time to be able to just completely take myself away from the city and just focus on myself. I've been going to the gym most days. Um, I've been going out eating like five, six meals a day. Um, and I've been working a lot on some upcoming prop, prop, prop blah, blah, blah. and I've been working a lot on some upcoming projects that will be very, very exciting. Can't wait to share them with you. Um, so it's been a really good way just to refresh, rebuild and refocus on where my priorities are. Uh, in terms of work and where I see things going in the next few months. So it's been really good. Um, but I am really, really missing people. So I feel like if I could transport people over here, like my favorite people, then that would be an idyllic scenario. Um, but it's been good. I've basically just been sending voice notes and messages and videos to people instead. So yeah, anyway, another bite. I normally don't really eat soup noodles very much anymore because I think the sodium in instant noodles makes me have the biggest face. Like it expands to an unimaginable balloon size so bad. Like it's, it's, it's just fat. So I try not to eat too much, but when it's like a spicy carbonara, then I can't really say no. And I'm technically just doing it for content. The things I do for the videos. <laughs> getting hot in here so I'm gonna put up my hair um, but yeah as I'm talking um, da -da 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 -da, I am going to be as of when is this gonna video I think this video is gonna go up on the Wednesday so by the time you're watching this I'll already be in Bali well hopefully I'll be in Bali actually because earlier today I saw Ashley came from Chrissy Teigen and uh, Twitter she talked about a 6.4 earthquake that just happened in the island of Lombok. I'm not too sure on whether it's su suitable to be traveling to Bali at the moment. Um, so we're keeping an eye on the foreign travel advice and seeing what they suggest and if there's been any disruptions or any cancellations and things. So we're going to go along with it because obviously health is way more important um, over any trip. So. Yeah, as of now, I'm not sure whether we are going. If you keep an eye on my Instagram, um, and if I'm there, then you'll see me there. If not, then I'll be eating in Hong Kong. Um, and yeah, I'll see how it goes. But if we assume that I am still going and um, things have been okay because there hasn't been a tsunami warning issued and if not been a warning saying for people to not travel to the area, um, then I'll be in Bali filming up some Bali content. Um, I'm going to be splitting the trip into two parts. So for the first half of the week, I'm going to be traveling to Seminac. And that took a long time trying to decide which area of Bali that I want to stay in because each area is very, very different depending on what kind of things you're looking for. So I know Kuta is the party region where like all the clubs and the bars and all the nightlife is all segregated there. And because um, I'm not going to be, this isn't going to be a party like friends trip. So avoided that region, but I think I might go in just to see. Um, so we're going to stay in Seminac, which is more of the place for like uh, dining um, and it's a little less of a party zone, but there's still some like cool chilled uh, bars and like just a nicer kind of more less of an energetic area, but there's still stuff to do. So I'm going to explore around there for the first three, four days. And then I really want to go to Jimbaran, which is known for seafood um, and it's got like the most beautiful beaches for sunset. So that's around that area and we're going to see that. And then on the second half of the week, I'm going to be staying in Ubud. I think that's how you say it. I always call it wrong because it's spelled like U-B-U-D. So I always think it's like Ubud, but it's Ubud. 
uh, which is the very much of like the spiritual healing stuff, which is right up my street. Like I love, love, love things like that. So I've been wanting to go there for ages. And when I was planning this, I already know that I want to go back with friends and to go back and properly do it and stay longer in certain parts and see all the other islands because I really want to go to the Gilly Islands. But by the time I travel over, which is like five hours, um, by boat and everything then it's it's going to take up a lot of time and I don't have as much time as I would like to so I think maybe next year I'll plan a way longer trip where I can go to all the surrounding islands and properly see it and spend time there but there's going to be a quick visit just to see what Bali is like so if you have been to Bali before or you live there then I would love your recommendations a very very lovely viewer had actually sent me like an essay chuck a block full of um, things to eat and places to eat um, a few months ago when I was planning on going so 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 thankful for that I've screenshot it and I've like planned it into the itinerary so it's going to be very very foodie based and I've been talking a lot let's eat yum 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 mm. so good it's super so addictive um, yum yum this isn't even my main meal, by the way. I'm actually going to have fur after this, but I thought I wanted to film this and then have fur afterwards because why not? Prepare yourselves for some barley content. Hopefully, if the trip goes ahead, I think I have just stained my top another top ruined because of food standard mm. on the other hand how are you all doing what have you been up to because i really love it when you tell me what you've been doing that day and stuff if you're a silent viewer introduce yourself um, and i would love to know what you've been doing today or where you're planning to go next or what you've been eating today if you can find these noodles in your local supermarket or your Asian supermarket, I would recommend this. This is so tasty. Mm. And should be really good with this. If you've got like a egg with it, like a runny, soft boiled egg over the top and maybe some like seaweed, bamboo shoots. Oh, that'd be so good. Mm. Okay, pretty much done now, but I just want to keep drinking. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I am sweating up a storm, but it is worth it for these nudes. Anyway, just wanted to check in, say hello, try these noodles and tell you that these noodles are giving me a fantastic time, having a great time hanging out with these nudes. And um, tell you that to expect some barley content in the next two weeks or so if all goes well with the travel. If not, then more Hong Kong content. Um, and that's it. Because as much as I love doing the like sit down videos or the vlogs and stuff, I also really like just sitting down and ch properly just chatting and rambling whilst eating. Great time, great time. So. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you could give it a thumbs up so I know to do more mukbang videos. And if you are new to this channel, hi, I'm Shu. Just watch me stuff my face and I forgot to introduce myself, but hello. And I would love for you to subscribe for more food, lifestyle and travel videos. And, 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 and I hope you are having a wonderful morning, afternoon or evening. And I shall see you in the next video. Before I say bye, final, final bite. Mm. It's all good. I hope you are having a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!